Chip is making a comeback. Oh, hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Lei and I do videos on luxury, styling, and beauty. If you guys are new here, I invite you to join the family and hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss any of my uploads. I'm also on Instagram, so in between videos, you can see me there posting fashion inspirations and other things that you might like. So definitely check that out. I will have my link down below. Or you can just simply search for Lei Petite 8. And you guys... Chip is back. I am having tea. I usually just use him for coffee, but I just decided that I need to incorporate tea into my diet. Mm. Oh, I'm not wearing earrings. Hold on. There, that's better. I feel incomplete without my earrings, so you guys have to forgive me. Anyway, today we are going to be doing a review of a bag that I have been using consistently for the past seven days. A company reached out to me, you know, to make this review. I told them that I have to use it first, you know, experience using this bag so I'd be able to do that. Also, they were kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys who might be interested to try out their products. I'll have the discount code below, so don't forget to check the description box. I also just, you know what, I'm just gonna put it here so you guys don't have a hard time. So this is called the Modo Cur Reversible Backpack. Precisely because it's a backpack, but it can also be used as a shoulder bag. It has this extra strap and it also has this top handle. When they emailed me, I was very happy to see that they still have this, you know, on their website because I could only choose one um, bag. It can be either a travel bag, a messenger bag, or a backpack. And I thought this was a good opportunity for me to, you know, have a good quality backpack because apparently I don't have that in my collection. And I know you might be thinking, Lei, you only do luxury and that can be true. I do love my luxury bags but you know, I also appreciate mid-range designer bags and any other brand really that, you know, offers good quality items, especially if the price point is, you know, okay. I think these bags are marketed mostly as school bags or work bags. The designs are pretty simple, but all of them look very functional, which is a good bag to have to use for, you know, school and work. The price point is also amazing. Their bags are listed between around $30 to, I think, as high as, like, a little over $100, which is, you know, it's pretty good for an all-leather backpack. With the size of this one, this can hold a 13-inch laptop. I do have a laptop that size, but later on, I will tell you why it's kind of problematic to put it in here. The design is very, very simple. I do love that it has this, you know, silver hardware. It works really well with the overall design of the bag. I think um, the chunky zipper is really nice. It reminds me a lot of um, the zipper of the Givenchy Antigona. It's not as huge, but you know, it's chunkier than most. I also like that they are buttery smooth, you know, especially these ones in front. It has a lot of pockets. I counted, you guys, this bag has like 11 compartments. So it has two here in front and then one on each side. And then we also have here an easy access um, compartment. So this is the fifth one. So we also have the interior that has, you know, the main compartment. That's the sixth one. We also have this two um, flat pocket right here. So that's, you know what, I lost count. Um, I think that's seven and eight. And then I also have three more pockets inside on the back side of the bag. And so that's a lot of pockets which is good because then you don't have to bring with you a lot of different pouches. These straps are also quite comfortable. They're exactly the same leather as the main body of the bag. The other side is made out of this fabric material that makes it, you know, even more malleable. It just really is very soft. It's the same thing with the shoulder strap. This one can be um, detached as well. If you don't like it to be two-way, then you can definitely remove this strap. But why not, you guys? It's so cute to wear as a shoulder bag and later on, we can just do mod shots for you. This bag is also very, very slouchy. The reason that it looks a little structured right now is because I have a big notebook inside. And so speaking of inside, I will show you guys the things that can fit in here. So these are the things that I've been carrying for the past week. I've been using this bag every day since the day that I got it. So so let's start with the side pockets. I'm just going to empty it, see what we have in here. So I have a candy. Um, What is this? Oh, I have a workout pass uh, at my gym. If you guys are interested, DM me. 
and I also went to a Goyard store in San Francisco and just wanted to try on the St. Louis tote and I got this from one of the essay. He was super nice. Now on to the second pocket. I'm just going to try to make this as quick as I can so I don't bore you guys. I have my key fob. I also have a pepper spray. Why not? These are my favorite because, you know, they're quite roomy even if they're like vertical compartments. So here I put my, you know, um, comb. I also have my Tide pen. So when I'm wearing something light, I don't have to worry about, you know, getting stains. Oh, this pocket is my favorite because this is where I put my, my sunglasses. So when I'm using this bag, I found that I don't have to bring my sunglass case because, you know, the inner lining of this bag is fabric. It's quite smooth, not really satin. It's not something abrasive that would scratch the lenses. And so I just put this sunglass in here. Doesn't matter if it's facing front or back. Another favorite of mine is this compartment at the back where I put the items that I need easy access to like my pen. Here I also have my lipstick. I always put one in here just in case. And I have my pocket mirror. Oh, this one is my favorite. I got this from Hawaii. Oh, the same with these earrings. I also got this from Hawaii. Um, yeah, they're super cute. They're both mermaid themed. Look. Um, LV key pouch, which I use as a card holder and a mini um, catch-all. <laughs> What is happening to me today? <laughs> As you can see, the opening is big, but here's where the problem comes in if you're gonna use, um, if you're gonna put the laptop in here. I own a 13 inch MacBook Pro. I can only fit it in here if I don't use my laptop sleeve, which that, that doesn't really make me feel comfortable because I don't like, you know, scratches on the surface of my laptop. If you have anything smaller than a 13 inch, then you wouldn't have any issue with this opening. That said, I would still recommend that you use it for your laptop if you own you know, a 13 inch. What I do is just use um, a clear folder like this one. Hold on, something like this. So I just kind of slip my laptop in here. And the thing is too, is that it makes it easy to slide into the bag. So you guys can imagine like that. And that prevents um, scratching on the surface of the laptop. But the thing is, this doesn't really provide any cushion or protection for your laptop in case you drop your bag. So be careful. Now onto the main compartment. I have here my big ass notebook that I use as an agenda. This is why I couldn't bring myself to use um, to get the um, LV agenda because number one, I'm left-handed. And the rings on that just makes it, you know, harder for me. Number two, it's because, why? I don't know, I just like cute notebooks like this one. Mini pochette. Um, I just put a bunch of beauty products in here. Nothing important, just the, you know, usual girly stuff. Okay, so I also have here my LV Zippy Multi Cart. Again, I use this for my coupons and the cards that I don't need to um, access frequently. And then I also have here my shopping tote. Oh my goodness, I think I should retire this one. <laughs> it's not looking like it's in a good shape still. But this is what I use because here in the Bay Area, you have to pay 10 cents for every plastic bag you use. Apart from it's expensive, um, I don't like doing that. This is my little way of helping the environment. Um, Other smaller pockets, so I have here my Dior compact that I don't really use a lot. I don't know if you guys can see but there's still the Dior um stamp and I've had it for about a year. I think I made a bad decision with this one. I also have this small um container. This has some sunblock because sometimes I leave the house and I forget to apply sunblock. I also have here a travel size mascara from Tarte. But I think this is like the 10th compartment. Yeah. I have here my Astrid leather um, coin pouch that I use for my earphones instead. I also always bring with me my Chanel Mademoiselle perfume. It smells divine. I always get compliments when I'm wearing this perfume and sometimes it doesn't matter what perfume I you know, wear when I leave the house, but this is what I always use for touch ups. And then of course my Mentos. I love this thing. 
I used to be um, an Altoids girl, but lately I have been really loving this um, Mentos. And sometimes I can finish one stick. And of course it's not good. Because there's a lot of sugar in there. But now it's completely empty. The 11th compartment, which is this one. There you go. Um, I don't really use it. So I don't really have a need for that. But, you know, it's good that it's there in case I need it. So as you can see, a lot can fit in this bag. It offers a lot, to be honest. I really like the simple design. Yeah, it is perfect for school and it's also perfect for work. And even though the design is really simple and very straightforward, it looks really smart. So I will do mod shots now. As you can see, this is how it looks on me as a backpack. For reference, I'm 5 feet tall, about 105, 107 pounds. It's not overwhelming on my frame. I also like that it's not very thick when you um, look at it sideways. My favorite way of carrying this bag, even though it's a backpack, is using it as a shoulder bag because I just really like how it looks I'm slouchy when I wear it like that. So you can also just carry it by the top handle or just, you know, carry it on the crook of your arm, whatever you like. But I don't recommend that because with the size of this bag, um, that can be uncomfortable. Uh, especially if there are it's filled with stuff you know so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching again you guys take advantage of the discount code they have an ongoing sale right now so you're gonna get even more value for your money with the bags that they have they have a whole lot of other products that you guys can check out i will also have the link down below and uh they're also on amazon if that will be more convenient for you so yeah this is me and chip saying bye we'll see you next time